is Carmen San Diego. giant leap for Carmen San Diego. San Diego, call the police! We got every bridge and tunnel on Manhattan Island covered. You can't escape, Carmen. Before we leave New York, cut across to Times Square. I arranged a little surprise for everyone in the Big Apple. <laughs> we got you surrounded, Carmen San Diego. Come out with your hands in the air. Hey, look, it's Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> nice trick, but the real Carmen's in here. If you think you can get away from me this time, you're dreaming, Carmen. Better watch out. My dream could become your nightmare. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. I don't get it, Chief. If Carmen paid for the toy, what's the crime? Okay, okay, it wasn't technically a theft, but Carmen San Diego's definitely up to something B I G, and that spells huge. Known henchmen have been meeting in cities from Pakistan to Peru, China to Chile, and various longitudes and latitudes in between. Hey, where are you going? There must be something special with this toy for it to grab Carmen's attention. Well, these Illumapads are pretty cool toys. Maybe all those henchmen want to play with hers. Zack, the sales girl remembers two things from the incident. Each of the henchmen had similar tattoos. The symbols for yin and yang. The Chinese emblem for opposites that complement, like male and female. And they had a very unique bird on... Bingo! Huh? We might just have nailed the country those henchmen were from, Ivy. The henchman's bird was a cormorant. Hello, Zack. Cormorants live on coasts all over the world. But only along certain <laughs> rivers will you find these. Clear. Info scan trained cormorants. Yes, anglers. No more squishing slimy worms onto hooks. No more fish getting away with your bait. In fact, no more bait. Some fishermen in China train wild cormorants to pluck their catch right out of the Yangtze River for them. Zach, if the henchmen had these yin and yang tattoos and a trained cormorant... The first place I'd look is China. 
Player, bring up that map of known henchmen activity again, please. Henchmen were spotted on the move in Jiangsu Province, further south in Guangdong. And look, there's activity in Sichuan near China's longest river, the Yangshi. Could be it. Player, C5 us to the far east. Ni hao, buckaroos. You're flying from New York City, USA to the People's Republic of China. At over three and a half million square miles, China is the third largest country right behind Russia and Canada. Okay, listen up, Clue Busters. Finding a couple of henchmen in China isn't going to be easy. More people live here than in any country in the world. Over a billion strong. So, if the Earth's about 25,000 miles around, and you placed every person in China end to end, they could probably circle the globe more than 40 times. But don't get me wrong, when most of Europe was looking for a light switch to get out of the Dark Ages, the Chinese were not just lying around. They were busy inventing everything from paper and the compass to gunpowder and fireworks. You'll be landing shortly. Well, what do you know? The Yangshi is almost 4,000 miles long, and we put down right on the mark, little bro. Whatever Carmen's up to looks like it's kicking into high gear. Come on. Ivy, you hear that? Uh, Zach, I don't speak Chinese. It's something about getting to Shijiang before nightfall. Now they're saying somebody's outside the door. Hey! They didn't say anything about a net, I'm sure of it. At least we know they're headed to some place called Shijiang. Great! Now if we can just shake free! I hope this doesn't hurt. You okay? Yeah, but not for long. <laughs> We gotta get out of here! Some fishermen on China's Yangshi River use trained birds to help them catch fish. What are these birds called? Cormorants are sometimes trained to catch fish in China. their junk and we lost the henchmen <coughs> but we know where they're going if we can find the Shijiang place but what's Carmen up to I mean she buys the lighted pegboard toy in New York then has henchmen on the move over 13,000 miles away in China what's the connection player info scan Shijiang Shishuan province picture if you will an ordinary field in a region called Dalian Shan it's a tranquil existence tend some hogs drink some tea but there's more here than meets the eye there's the Shijiang Launch Center for Space Satellites, and it's only about one football field away from working farms. Talk about a halftime show. Unless Carmen's taking up farming, I'd say Shijiang's Launch Center sounds like the best place for us to start, Zach. Zach? We're in luck, Ivy. There's a merchant on his way to Shijiang. He'll give us a lift. security and let them know we're on the grounds? I've got a feeling they already paid security a visit. Come on. Oh. Mind if we give you two a hand? <gasps> gotcha! Well, at least we stopped them from ripping off this rocket. Uh, Zach, look. Okay, now see, this is bad. A cheap $10 kid's toy, and now some of the most expensive space hardware in the world. 
Three rockets, three lights. What's Carmen up to? I guess Carmen wants to see that all our daily nutritional requirements are met while we're away from home. Hey, this is a big piece of litmus paper. It can tell if something is an acid or a base. And Carmen gave us an orange. Zach, oranges have natural acids. It must be part of a clue. The orange's acid will turn this litmus paper from blue to red. Watch. Haha, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Looks like a message. Carmen must have written on it with some kind of base, like borax, that neutralizes acid, keeping the letters blue. I'm taking a trip and I'll be blue. Love, Maria. Where's she taking a trip to? And who's Maria? Blair, info scan please. Maria, please. Maria, Maria, she's our gal. If she can't do it, no one shall. Meet Maria Theresa, Holy Roman Empress, Queen of Hungary and Bohemia, and Archduchess of Austria in the 1700s. What a resume, huh? Had 16 children, one of whom was Marie Antoinette, known in Spanish as Maria Antonia. This is getting us nowhere. Wait a minute. Ivy, Carmen just stole rockets. Maybe she's taking a trip into space, and maybe Maria isn't a who, but a what. I have no idea what you're talking about, Zach. Look. 400 years ago, Galileo thought those dark patches on the moon were water, so he named them with the Latin word for seas, Maria. Okay, Einstein, then what's this part mean about being blue? Well, a blue moon is when there are two full moons in one month, right? Okay, fine. Player, info scan lunar activity. When is the next time there are two full moons in a month? Whoa, doesn't happen very often. That's why people say, only once in a blue moon. Aha, you're in luck, crime busters. The next blue moon is in four days. Ivy, it takes astronauts three days to fly to the moon. If the trip Carmen is taking is going to reach it on the blue moon, she'd have to leave by tomorrow. But these Long March rockets don't carry astronauts. Hey, I'm hungry. Zach, look. So? Lots of oranges come from Florida. Forget the snack, Zach. Carmen said I'm taking a trip. What's in Florida that she might want to steal next? Think outer space, rockets. Whoa, the space shuttle at Cape Canaveral. Player, booster rocket us to the Sunshine State. Okay, Moon Dreamers, you're sea fiving it from China to one of the flattest places in America, the Florida Peninsula. It's surrounded on three sides by water, and the highest point in the state is only 345 feet above sea level. And more coastline than any state except Alaska. Let's not forget the Everglades and the Florida Keys, an arc of islands that juts out miles into the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, check it out, Space Cadets. Cape Canaveral's been America's premier launch site since 1959, when our first astronauts, Abel and Baker, weighed in with a mere nine pounds apiece. Yes, these brave monkeys went into space before man ever dared to try. The Apollo 11 astronauts made history when Neil Armstrong became the first human ever to set foot on the moon. <laughs> but no time for parties now. We're splashing down at Cape Canaveral, Florida, the launch site of the space shuttle, today's recyclable spaceship. What's that? Alligators! When Galileo thought the dark patches on the moon were seas, what did he call them? Galileo used the Latin word Maria to name the dark patches on the moon. Oh, I've got a feeling the only way out of here is the way he came in. Run! <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Oh, oh. oh man, this is bad. Quick, Zach, you're back. What are you nuts, Ivy? What made you think you could hold his jaw shut? Zoology class, little bro. Alligators have enough power to crush cow bones like kindling, but not much at all for opening wide. Easy, big fella. Easy. No one's gonna hurt you. Get ready to run, Zack! But we gotta talk to the Chief about fixing that C5 glitch. Or I gotta take wrestling lessons. Hey, they don't piggyback the space shuttle away from Cape Canaveral. This is the launch site. All security personnel report.
important year stations. Carmen San Diego has stolen the space shuttle. Yeah, all personnel are busy with this crisis. I'll be with you shortly. Great. Now how are we going to find out where Carmen's gone? Hi, I'm Michelle. Can I help? <laughs> nah, thanks. You're just... A kid? <clears throat> uh, no. I meant you're just pretty darn impressive in that spacesuit. Why are you wearing a spacesuit? Well, I go to space camp down here at Cape Canaveral. We were going to get a chance to watch the space shuttle launch. Until Carmen stole it, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe you can help us find out what she's up to, Michelle. But why would she take the shuttle away? Why not just launch from here? Depending on the mission, you always have a different launch window. Launch window? What's that? Well, see, the moon's a moving target. It travels around the Earth at more than 2,000 miles per hour. So you have to aim at a spot way in front of the moon and let it come to you right at the end of your three-day flight? Right. And if Carmen had launched from here, say, ten minutes ago, given average speed, she would have missed the moon by thousands and thousands of miles. Then, working backwards, where on Earth would the launch window be? If Carmen wanted to reach the moon exactly when it's full. Full moon is in exactly, uh-huh, and the flight time is... Uh-huh. With those parameters, the ideal place is in the Andes Mountains of Peru. But at this specific longitude and latitude, temperatures sometimes go below 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The launch would just shut itself down automatically. Knowing Carmen, she's got that covered. Player, C5 us to these coordinates. I wish I knew where we were going. This llama's not exactly comfortable. Well, don't sweat it, little bro. There's Carmen's launch site. What is she thinking of? Okay, coast is clear. Here's the Aluma pad she bought at that toy store, Ivy. But what's she doing with it? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Whoa. The rocket payloads are filled with red and black dye. Biodegradable, no doubt. And this program is set to launch the stolen rockets to specific locations on the lunar surface. When the colored dyes are released, Carmen's image will appear on the face of the full moon. Like a giant paint-by-number! And she'll orchestrate the whole thing from her bird's-eye view aboard the stolen space shuttle. Prepare for launch. Zach, you gotta stop the launch! If she gets away with the space shuttle and those long march rockets, it could set international space programs back years! But it could take days to break her code. Three minutes and we don't have days! Come on! Carmen! I want them to watch from a distance. It's over! Come on, Zach! We're running out of time! T minus 45 seconds. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. Ivy, at seven seconds before liftoff, those boosters fire up, and the whole launch site will reach almost 3,000 degrees! Five, Temperature! That's it! Huh? Michelle said the launch system automatically shuts down if the temperature goes below 41 degrees. Come on! Where are we going? The temperature monitoring gauge! The CO2 in this fire extinguisher should lower the temperature enough to... We're toast in seven seconds! Just do it! 12... Ah! 11... Ah! 10... 9... 8... Launch aborted. Temperature below safety levels. Launch aborted. All right, Ivy, we did it! Woohoo! Now, with a little luck, we can nab Carmen. You froze me out this time, detectives, but there's always going to be another full moon and another chance. Well, if it's any consolation, Michelle will be glad we saved the space shuttle. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe she'll become the first woman on the moon instead of Carmen. My detectives brought you down to Earth, huh, Carmen? 
If you don't shoot for the moon, you'll never know what can be yours, player. See you next crime.